I think Coogan is very good. Steve Coogan, who takes on this extraordinary sort of personality persona of, of Savile. I don't think it tells us anything new, uh, but I don't think there's any harm in reminding people about how Savile manipulated not just the BBC, but the royal family, the prime minister, and you know used the entire high reaches of society, plus charities, etc., to like manipulate them and to give himself the position from which he had the power to get away with what he got away with. Do you think that was right, Myrian? Do you think that there were many people who had their suspicions about Savile but just kept on enjoying his success, his commercial success? I think uh, that senior figures at the BBC, there's evidence that they knew from 1973 right the way up to 2010, 2011. So in 1973, uh, the head of radio, Ian Trithowan, who then becomes Director General, is notified of concerns about Savile. They do two lines of investigation. They send the chief press officer around the tabloids to say, are they going to run a story saying that Savile has been abusing underage kids in his mobile home? The papers say, no, they're not. He's a big charity figure. They've heard the rumours, but they're not investigating. Then the other allegation, which is obviously much more seriously sourced because they pull Savile in, is that he is regularly having underage kids coming round to his flat in London. Plainly, whatever evidence they have is too strong for him to deny it. So he says, yes, that does happen. And the reason it happens is to protect them from dirty old men on the streets of London if they were left out there. They are again worried, is this going to come out in the papers? He assures them that it's not, and you know that nothing untoward is going on. They don't even say to him, stop having underage girls round to your apartment overnight. They just say, well, what can you do? The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 